We begin our team coverage tonight with Chris Conti, who has more from Pine Island, where the city has essentially been shut down. An entire night of heavy rainfall has changed things a lot here in Pine Island. This is now the reality of what people in this city are dealing with. The last time the water was even close to being this high was back in 1990. It's unreal. It's unreal. Tracy Olson remembers that flood well. She owns Olson Motor Repair in the center of Pine Island, where the Zumbro River has now cut the city completely in half. What was worse, this now or 1990? This one's worse. This one's worse. They tried as hard as possible to keep the water from doing any more damage. I think this is the highest I've ever seen it. But with the river only getting higher, the prospects of things getting better only got worse as the afternoon went on. When we flood, that part of Main Street gets flooded, but we don't expect it to come up this fast. Unfortunately, most people here know that no matter how many sandbags they fill or how long they hold out hope for, Mother Nature will ultimately decide when the water will finally go back down. Never happened all the other floods we ever had. It will be days before anyone in Pine Island knows just how much this flooding is going to cost them. Right now, people here are just hoping that at some point the rain will stop. Reporting in Pine Island, Chris Conti, KTTC News Center.